automakers and governments around the globe are poised to move electric vehicles in and gas and diesel vehicles out. The electric vehicle mega trend is unfolding and insiders know the time to get in on nickel and cobalt. The two critical elements to electric car batteries already in high demand is now. Don't miss this chance to get in on the opportunity to invest in physical class 1 nickel and cobalt before the mass market catches on. Go to www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another market update, December 2018. As we come to a close for 2018 and are going into 2019, we are continuing to see how electric vehicles are coming into the fold and specifically the demand for cobalt and especially nickel look to rise. And going into 2019, we are seeing the electric vehicle automotive industry making large moves where nickel is becoming a larger and larger target on the investment radar. Daimler to buy 23 billion of battery cells for electric car drive. Daimler will buy battery cells worth more than 20 billion euros by 2030 as it readies mass production of hybrid and electric vehicles. The company is one of a number of German automakers massively expanding in electric vehicles as European regulators clamp down on toxic diesel emissions. With extensive orders for battery sales until the year 2030, we set another important milestone for the electrification of our future electric vehicles. We'll co star who oversees procurement and supplier quality on the board of Mercedes-Benz cars said in a statement. Daimler declined to say which suppliers would be awarded the contracts. The company already has battery cell supply deals with Korea's SK Innovation, LG Chem, and China's contemporary Amperex technology as it plans to launch 130 electric and hybrid vehicles by 2022 in addition to making electric vans, buses, and trucks. The Mercedes-Benz EQ electric car set for 2019 will use battery cells containing 60% nickel, 20% manganese, and 20% cobalt. Future Mercedes-Benz electric cars will contain batteries using 80% nickel and only 10% manganese and 10% cobalt. Mercedes engineers are also working on a ratio with 90% nickel, 5% manganese, and 5% cobalt in order to reduce the amount of rare earth metals even further. Adding, it was also working on solid state batteries, which don't require any cobalt for future products. Now, this is key for nickel. We're seeing more and more companies looking to manufacture stronger batteries, and whether solid state or lithium ion, it's beginning to be crystal clear that batteries are going to be using more nickel. Resource rich nations, such as Australia, are positioning themselves for mining and refining of key metals for electric vehicles. From the Business Times, Australia launches strategy to develop itself as a battery hub. Australia is seeking investment to develop a battery industry to wring more value from its mineral wealth. Australia is rich in reserves of raw materials like lithium used in rechargeable batteries for everything from mobile phones to electric vehicles, but it is shipping its commodities offshore rather than developing a domestic battery industry. To reap more value from its reserves, Australia will aim to attract investment to build a battery supply chain, including chemical technology and cell manufacturing. Australia has a once-in-a-generation opportunity to transform into a major processing, manufacturing, and trading hub for lithium-ion batteries, the Minister for Trade, Simon Birmingham of the ruling Liberal National Coalition said in a statement, Australia has the world's largest reserves of lithium and also produces nine of the ten elements required to produce most lithium-ion battery anodes and cathodes. Australia has the world's largest hard rock lithium mine and will soon have some of the world's largest chemical plants for batteries being built by China's Tiangqi and BHP Group respectively in Western Australia. But the country still needs to secure proprietary equipment, processes, and technology to convert its raw materials into lithium-ion batteries. The report identified possible target sites for lithium-ion battery cell manufacturing at Quinana in Western Australia, where BHP Group is building a plant to produce battery-grade nickel chemicals and mining hub Kalgurlai. 
And resource-rich nations like Australia look to be big winners, as we've stated before, how governments are moving to phase out gas and diesel engines in favor of electric cars. To further add truth to the electric vehicle story, we're now seeing automakers such as Volkswagen winding down gas, petrol, and diesel engines in favor for battery-powered cars. From Bloomberg News, Volkswagen says the next generation of combustion cars will be its last. Volkswagen AG expects the error of the combustion car to fade away after it rolls out its next-generation gasoline and diesel cars beginning in 2026. Traditional automakers are under increasing pressure from regulators to reduce carbon dioxide emissions to combat climate change, prompting Volkswagen to pursue a radical shift to electric vehicles. Our colleagues are working on the last platform for vehicles that aren't CO2 neutral, Michael Jost, strategy chief for Volkswagen's namesake brand, said at an industry conference near the company's headquarters in Wolfsburg, Germany. We're gradually fading out combustion engines to the absolute minimum. The world's largest automaker has started to introduce its first wave of electric cars, including next year's Porsche. The rollout across its stable of 12 automotive brands is forecast to compromise about 15 million vehicles as the company earmarks $50 billion over the next five years to spend on its transformation to self-driving electric cars. Volkswagen will continue to modify its combustion engine technology after the new platform is introduced next decade. After 2050, there may still be some gasoline and diesel models in regions where there is insufficient charging infrastructure, according to Jost. Problems with diesel pollution in cities can be resolved with cleaner engines, but the much bigger threat in the long run is CO2 emissions, which contribute to global warming. I think what's clearly on the horizon now is that, yes, the sun is setting on internal combustion engines in favor of electric vehicles, and again, the resource sector should be the beneficiary of fantastic gains as EV adoption takes place. And with EV production growing, battery production is naturally building up as well as evidenced here. From Electric.co, SK Innovation announces new electric vehicle battery gigafactory in the U.S. Battery manufacturing companies are adding capacity to try to keep up with automakers going electric and the increasing demand for electric vehicles. With this trend, SK Innovation announced today a new $1.6 billion investment to build an electric vehicle or EV battery gigafactory in the U.S. Aside from Tesla's Gigafactory 1 in Nevada, most of the new battery cell manufacturing capacity is going to Asia and Europe, where automakers are more aggressively electrifying their lineups. But SK Innovation says that some of its customers, namely Mercedes-Benz and Hyundai Kia Motors, are going to need battery cells in the U.S. and therefore it is investing in local battery cell production. The new battery factory is going to be in Jackson County, Georgia. Jun Kim, CEO of SK Innovation, commented on the announcement, saying we are excited to bolster our presence in the United States by making this investment in Georgia. SK Innovation is a worldwide leader in the energy industry, and this latest investment will allow us to work with the growing automotive industry in the southeastern United States, ensuring future partnerships for years to come. SK says that the first phase will represent an investment of approximately $1 billion and it will create jobs for more than 1,000 advanced manufacturing employees. They did not offer a timeline as they are still finalizing the plans. Last year, SK Innovation said that it is doubling its battery production for electric vehicles to 4 gigawatt hours per year at its South Korean factories to support demand for Mercedes and others. You know, often when we think of electric vehicles, we forget all about electric buses, even electric trucks. These open up even more demand for cobalt and nickel, and that, once again, is because battery chemistries are getting more powerful with the use of more nickel. From cleantechnica.com, commercial manufacturer MAN shows new electric vehicles. MAN Truck and Bus recently announced a number of innovations, including new vehicles, at the IAA Vehicles 2018 show, the company presented a 15-ton electric delivery truck, the MAN-SIT-E, and the MAN-E, TGE, an electric van. 
A prototype of the electric city bus, the Man Lion City E, also was shown. It has a range of 270 kilometers per charge and can be charged in three hours. The company has also developed a platooning technology which allows diesel trucks to connect to one another while driving in order to save fuel, said Mr. Felix Kaibart, vice president of Man Truck and Bus AG. Perhaps the biggest news going on with EV adoption is how chargers are becoming universal, meaning different automakers can use the same type of charger. Tesla is adopting CCS or Combined Charging Systems adapters for their Model S and Model X, which is a huge step if you consider chargers that were once proprietary are now able to work for more vehicles, allowing for perhaps longer journeys and more convenience. From electric.co, years in the making, it's finally happening. A Tesla Model 3 was spotted charging at a CCS charging station, the first Tesla vehicle to publicly do so as far as we can tell. It's something that Tesla owners have been waiting for for years as it became clear that the CCS is becoming the main charging standard in the industry. Last month, Tesla confirmed Model 3 is getting a CCS plug in Europe and that an adapter is coming for Model S and Model X. Earlier this month, the automaker started retrofitting European supercharger stations with dual charge cables to support the existing connector and CCS standard. That's so the Model 3 owners will be able to use Tesla's supercharger network but the CCS standard will also enable them to use several other growing CCS charging networks like the FastNed network. And an example of this is the Blue SG charger here in Singapore. It's going to soon allow other types of EVs to use their charging ports. From today, Blue SG to open charging stations to drivers of other electric vehicles from 2019. As part of its move to grow the ecosystem in Singapore for electric vehicles, electric car sharing operator Blue SG will begin opening up its charging stations to third-party owners of electric vehicles from next year, a year earlier than originally planned. The charging points for privately owned electric cars will be located at housing and development board car parks as well as private car parks. Blue SG, a subsidiary of Blue Solutions, which is owned by French conglomerate Ballore Group, had said before that by 2020, about 20% of its charging points will be made available to privately owned electric cars. It also plans to grow its fleet from 300 cars now to 1,000 cars and have 500 stations providing 2,000 charging points. Blue SG now has some 135 stations with 531 charging points, and by the end of this year, it expects this number to grow to 591 charging points at 150 locations. Closing out 2018, what we're going to see in 2019 is China mandating 12% of new car sales as being electric cars and other automakers worldwide will begin to phase in their EV offerings and we're going to see more and more charging stations and EV adoption rolling into our public and private transportation. The question is, in ending this year and beginning 2019, is will you be joining the EV revolution? Keep an eye on Nickel. Take care, everyone, and have a happy new year ahead. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by Silver Bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your Silver Bullion account, selecting the parcels, and clicking Sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg slash eb and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 6100 3040.